Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, tea empties video. I haven't done one of these tea videos in, I wanna say like five years. It's been a long time. It's, yeah, it's been a long time. And 2020 has been kind of an experiment. Uh, I saved a lot of empties. I did stationary empties. I did beauty empties just out of curiosity to see how much I actually use. And I also did tea empties. And so I am here to show you everything that I have finished or will be about to finish uh, or drink up. Um, like there are just a few boxes where I have like a couple bags. So I just consolidated it into a bigger box to uh you know save room and i'm just gonna call it and just uh kind of also do a review of what i keep in my tea boxes uh this used to be actually one of my most popular videos uh tea videos so i thought it'd be kind of fun to share i'm gonna move this basket so you can kind of get a look at what i have this whole basket is full and i have a few boxes that don't even fit in Okay, I'm gonna just show you my absolute favorite tea find of this year, which is the Tezo, Tazo, however you want to pronounce it, Juniper Mint Honey Tea. The smell of this is absolutely beautiful to me. To me, it smells like fresh air and mountains, and it reminds me of Washington, which I miss so much and oh look it's inspired by the rocky mountains so kind of you know along the lines of it's caffeine free it's herbal i think i love juniper berries as a smell as a scent for many things that i've come across this past season and i've already gone through two boxes of these i've shared these with some friends of mine and i have a third box i'm about to start this is how much I love this. And I hope it's not a limited edition tea, but I found this at Target. If you're curious, um, there's probably many other places that you can uh, try it. And the honey, which I'm very wary of in tea because I don't like the, the taste of honey and I don't like the strong scent of it in tea, uh, is very mild in this if you are very sensitive to uh, the flavor of it. I don't like my tea sweetened, so maybe that's the reason why I'm very um, sensitive to that particular flavor in tea, but I don't really taste it at all or smell it. It just kind of gives a hint of sweetness, but I think it's also because it's combined with the juniper berry, which is very fresh and lovely. I cannot speak enough good words about this. I, it's my favorite tea. So if there's any takeaway from this video of tea recommendations, this is going to be the one because I think this is going to be the most accessible tea that I'm about to show you that's out of my favorites. So um, I can now get rid of these empties, which I'm really excited about. I have so many boxes and empties in my closet right now. It's kind of like I'm a weird hoarder. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, 2020, it got me through just kind of uh, gathering stuff. I went through quite a bit of chai. I have a chai rooibos from Yogi Tea and then a Tezo organic chai. I like the Tezo brand a lot. Um, and they're pretty, you know, reasonable for like a very common tea to find in a lot of grocery stores, which is great. Um, the Yogi teas are a little harder to find where I am. Um, I can find them at my local co-op, which is really nice. And um, so both are really good. This is nice because it doesn't have caffeine in it because it's made with rooibos tea. So sometimes I really like the chai flavor, but I don't necessarily want the caffeine with it. And uh, so I like having a rooibos version of that. And then this is a great one. I really like this one. This is one I buy pretty much every year. So when it goes on sale uh, during the season of chai tea, I pretty much just pick up uh, two boxes at a time. And 
another one that I like to keep on hand is the Yogi ginger tea. I always have ginger tea on hand because, um, I don't know, it, lately it just feels like I have a lot of stomach sensitivity and I don't know if it's just because it's related to my blood sugar levels, probably. Um, and then whenever I'm feeling, you know, under the weather, I feel a sore throat coming on, I always have ginger tea on hand. Um, another one I don't think I saved the box for is throat coat tea. I went through a lot of that earlier this year because all of 2019 I was pretty much sick because my child was in daycare and I was in the office. So the constant contact with germs, I was permanently sick for a year and a half. And uh, so ginger tea and throat coat were the two ones that I relied on a lot. More herbal teas that I have, um, Tezo, the Calm Chamomile Tea. This one's great. It's um, a milder version of the chamomile tea because it's got rose petals and other soothing herbs. I don't know what else they have. Blackberry leaves, lemongrass, spearmint, hibiscus. This one's a nice blend because it's a bit more on the milder side. It's not just pure chamomile which sometimes for me can be a little strong. This one's great, I really like this one. And I think I'll just continue to buy the Calm Chamomile blend by Tezo. And then this one was a new one that I picked up earlier this year. It's the Puka Elderberry and Echinacea, which is great for your immune system. Um, Echinacea is, and elderberry. And I found this at my local grocery store, so. Um, and it comes in a pretty box. Um, I almost kind of want to cut out the box and use it for collaging or something because it's just pretty. I just like pretty packaging. So those are two other herbal ones that I have. Tinned teas. These I talk about, I think, at least once a year. I mention it on at least my Instagram. Uh, the hot apple cider tea, which comes out in the fall by the Republic of Tea. This is such a great, not only is a caffeine-free alternative uh, to tea, but I can't really have apple cider as much as I want to. I maybe have a sip here and there if we buy it, but it's just too much sugar for me. Uh, this smells like apple cider. It is, the blend is like spot on perfect. And we here in the Midwest have excellent apple orchards and apple cider so um i i know the smell <laughs> um it's got apple cinnamon and clove you get 36 unbleached tea bags this lasts a long time and these are left over from like the beginning of uh let's see i started drinking this in late 2019 and then it went well into like february i think because there are just so many tea bags and uh, i highly recommend this one if you like apple cider um to get that kind of really um fragrant fragrant smell and it kind of has the taste of it too without the sweetness which is really interesting so i don't know how they do it but I love this one. I buy this one every year. I've got another tin in my cabinet now, which I'm sure I will finish within the next few months. And then Comfort and Joy Tea. I mention this a lot too. It's my absolute favorite Christmas tea by Republic of Tea. This one you get 50 cups. So this will, it's like, you know, quite, I think this one is like maybe $10. This one's a little bit more. I think you pay like 12, but it is so great. The black tea is very light compared to a lot of other black tea blends, which is, um, you know, kind of nice sometimes when you don't really want a heavy, um, or very strong steeped black tea. And the spices are not overwhelming. It's not overwhelmingly cinnamony or clove or nutmeg. It's uh, just like the perfect light blend of holiday spices, which I really enjoy. So I have another tin of this for this year, and I'm almost like n more than halfway through that tea because um, I got my mom to like it. Um, I didn't force her. I just, I mean, I introduced it to her and she really enjoyed it. So whenever she comes over, 
um, I brew her a, a cup of that, which is interesting because my mom doesn't really drink a lot of tea. She kind of stopped and she just switched to coffee. Um, I finally got around to finishing this. This is, I've had it for so long. I think at some point it was down to like this much and I just decided to um, compost it because, you know, tea doesn't last forever. That's another reason why I've really made the effort to drink up my tea because I know tea doesn't last forever. I can't just hoard it even if it's nice tea. Um, it's there for drinking and enjoying. And this one was interesting. It was kind of like a strong tart fruit flavor, which I'm not usually into. So this one I kind of had to space out, hence another reason why it took me a long time to drink up. It's the It's got apple, hibiscus blossoms, pineapple, papaya. There were also popcorn kernels in this one. And uh, it comes in this cute little tin. I'm thinking I could probably just reuse the tea tin. Um, it's always nice to have tea tins around. This one I've had a long time. Um, this is hibiscus rooibos, and it came in little uh, tea sachets. And I got this a while ago, uh, and I found out I didn't like pure rooibos. No, yeah, pure hibiscus rooibos tea. That was just an odd flavoring. wasn't my thing. So what I did was... I cut up the bags and I put it into another tea blend that was kind of ha running out. So what was in here was uh, Blueberry Rooibos by Rishi Tea. And I bought that in bulk. I bought it in bulk up to, like I pretty much filled the jar from my local co-op. It's one of my favorite local teas. It smells like blueberry muffins. That's how good it smells. And the flavor is nice and floral and uh, fruity. Um, it's one of the few fruit teas I enjoy. I'm not really a fruit tea person. And when this got down to about here, I cut up the remaining bags that were in here. There are probably like five or six left in here. I didn't want to go to, to go to waste. I could have composted it, but I didn't really want to. Um, so I emptied it into the remaining tea and I kind of mixed it up. So it just pretty much, you know, filled it up to here. So this took a while to drink up because I had so much loose leaf tea in here. But I did it um, because I was home a lot this year, <laughs> as everybody else was. And then another one of these tea jars, I had a Tivana. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember what it was called. And I don't think they are around anymore. Tivana is only online, isn't it? Um, and at like Starbucks or something. I think it was like a dragon jasmine tea. It was like a, f a slightly fruity tea mixed with jasmine pearls. Um, we bought it in bulk at Tivana a few years ago when the Tivana stores were still around. My husband really liked the tea blend, but then for some reason he stopped drinking it. And so it was kind of left to me to drink it. We didn't want to waste, you know, rather expensive tea. And this was kind of filled to the tip top too. And um, this took me pretty much all year to drink. And it's not a bad tea. I'm just not really like a floral, fruity, jasmine tea person. I don't drink a lot of green tea and I don't drink a lot of jasmine tea. So this one was an effort to finish up, but I didn't want the tea to go to waste. So, but I managed to actually f drink up two whole bulk teas, which is pretty impressive even for me. Um, I relied on a lot of tea this year. <laughs> Did anybody else? Because 2020, man. Um, this was a lovely tea that my mother-in-law gifted me late last year. Uh, oh, actually, no, I think she got it for me for Christmas. She got me a whole lavender-themed gift bag. Uh, they had um, a lavender... Uh, like one of those like long seated pads that you can like heat up in the microwave and it's for um, like muscle aches and things like that so there was a long one for my neck and then there was a smaller one for my eyes and then it um, came with a box of Paws Herbal Tea Infusion um, which is made by a local person here in Wisconsin and it's got lavender, rosebuds, 
and chamomile, lemon balm, honeybush, peppermint, and orange peel. This was a lovely tea blend. I really enjoy this. And I actually want to buy another box of this. And it just came in a tall box like this and it was filled with like folded paper packs and inside were the uh, little sachets of them. And there were 30 tea bags in this. I really, really liked this. So that was a really thoughtful gift from my mother-in-law. And I don't even know what the name of this company is. You would think it'd be on the um, tag, but it's not, unfortunately. So, so I, otherwise I can try to link it if I can find the name. But that's a local tea brand and I really, really like that one. And then I finished two Fortnum teas, Countess Grey, which is one of my absolute favorite teas. It's a very light, uh, slightly citrusy, fragranced tea. You don't taste it, but you can definitely smell the citrus in it. And it's got well-twisted orange pico. That's what it is for a light orange flavor. Um, but highly recommend this. Um, I know William Sonoma sells some of the base and most popular Fortnum and Mason teas. So if you're looking for something that's stateside um, without having to order from the Fortnum and Mason site, because um, I know Fortnum's, you know, their flat rate shipping is nice, but it's still rather expensive. And this is very luxurious tea. It's pricey, but it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I highly recommend it. it's my favorite tea brand. So, uh, Countess Grey and then the Queen's Blend. This is, I think, my second Queen's Tea Blend. And this is, I think, my second Countess Grey. So that's how much I love these two. I actually have to buy a new one of these. And I absolutely love that they come in like these beautiful tea tins that I can reuse. I've seen people put like potted plants in them storing chocolates and things like that. So I don't let the Fortnum's tea tins go to waste because these I definitely keep around because they're beautiful and they remind me of my favorite place, which is England. And that's it. Those are all my tea empties. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope if you're looking for some new teas, this might have given you some suggestions. All right, take care, bye.